Hey everyone, and welcome to the Grow Hemp series. Today, we'll be trying to maximize the grow with a countertop all-in-one hydroponic system. Here, I'm starting with two feminized seeds and only one of them germinated. So that's the one I'm going to be using. I'm starting to grow in a closet alongside a few other plants. And while this plant is able to leach some of the excess light from the long grow light that's installed on the closet, the built-in light in this all-in-one system is actually blocking a lot of it. So most of the light the plant is getting is from the all-in-one system, but every little bit helps. And right off the bat, I'm going to be starting this grow, testing out something I've always wanted to test out, which is taking advantage of the closet light leak. And what I mean by that is that I've always had issues in the past when placing plants too close to the edge of a closet with the small sliver of light that can leak in from the edges of the closet doors, causing a plant to revert back into the vegetative stage. Because of this, I always place the plants in the closet grow at least a foot away from the edges of the closet. And what's happening here is that the other plants in the closet are already on a 12-12 hour light cycle and starting the flowering stage. But since this grow is still just starting out, I wanted to stay in the vegetative stage for a little bit. So I placed it next to the wall where it gets a little bit of light leak when the lights are off. And this worked surprisingly well. Here you can see where the plant is positioned in the closet and it's clearly still seeing in the vegetative stage even though the plants that are right next to it are all in the flowering stage. I top the plant once to lower the height and have the side stems catch up to the main stem. And this was the only training technique I used on this plant. I've also now moved it away from the light leak so that it can start the flowering stage. Since with this type of all-in-one system, the plant can only grow so high before it starts to touch the lights, especially given that it's going to probably double in height during the final stretch in the flowering stage. Now, a couple of quick notes about this setup. I'm using a nine pot system that comes with a built-in 40 watt grow light. Of course, this grow light isn't strong enough to support a hemp plant, which is why you'll need to add some sort of supplemental lighting if you want to grow hemp with this type of setup. I'm also using a three part hydroponic fertilizer for this grow, consistently refilling the water reservoir each time it gets low. One issue with growing in this type of setup is that there's no good way to completely replace the nutrient water 
in the water reservoir. And when that's the case, a lot of times there will be signs of a nutrient issue or imbalance. Although usually it only starts to appear near the end of a grow. So it usually doesn't become that big of an issue. I've actually finished up all the other plants that were growing in this closet. So to save on electrical costs, I'm going to be finishing up the flowering stage by adding on two additional LED grow light bulbs. These are a great economical option and can be used with any existing lamp to save on costs. The bulbs uses 24 watts each. So with it, I'm able to double the amount of lighting the plants get. Although with these light bulbs, it's not able to spread out the light as evenly and is a lot more concentrated. And this caused the leaves closest to the grow light bulbs to burn up a little. But other than that, everything worked out okay for the rest of the grow. The plant is ready for harvest. So to start, I'm just going to be removing the large fan leaves first before cutting it all down. Now I'm just hanging the entire plant up with a bungee cord and I'm doing an extremely light trim on the plant to mainly just remove the rest of the leaves since I'm going to be extracting the trichomes after it dries, so I don't need to trim it much. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.